you get to the text tool by pressing, you guessed it, T. Uh, in order to use the text tool, you just click and then type whatever you want. If it's not showing up, it's entirely possible that you're typing in the same color that the background is. Uh, hit Control Enter in order to commit those changes. If you want to change the size of the text, you can just hit Control T in order to transform it, or you have all sorts of options that are located up here if that's your style. If these are not enough options for you, if these are not enough options for you, there are even more options located in the character window. So the character window you get to by either clicking here or by going into Window Character. And then you can do things such as make it all caps. You can do things such as do faux bold or a much smarter option, normal bold. There's an option for italics up here. Always do it over the option over here. So there's all sorts of uh, type typography options that you can play with uh, in that window, and I suggest you do. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to put it on regular. There we go. Or actually, let's set it on bold because that seems to be the thing in vogue right here. Control Enter to commit those changes. The other way to create type is by clicking, ah, escape, uh, clicking when your cursor looks like this and dragging. And now it will always fit in this box no matter what. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that a bunch of times. And it makes it so it fits in here. If I press Control A to select all, I can just um, Alt Up Arrow in order to change the uh, line spacing. Or I can just do this right here do that right here as well if that's more your style. So again, I just did that right up here in this box over there. Uh, control Enter to commit those changes or enter on the numpad if you're not using it on a uh, box. Are there other options for type? You betcha. Uh, if you go into Window Paragraph, there's a bunch of options for paragraphs such as something like Justified, Hyphenate, all sorts of things. So I'm going to hit Control Enter, and that's looking pretty darn good to me. Uh, the other things located under text, if you want to do vertical text, this is vertical. I'm going to hit Control T, and that's a way to do vertical text uh, right there. Notably, there's a lot more options inside of Illustrator, uh, but this is good for basic basics. If you want to create a selection in the thing of text, uh, here is selection from text. So now you have a selection that's in the shape of those letters. I can't say I've ever used this option, but if you want a horizontal type mask tool or a vertical type mask tool, they're located right there. Uh, just as a tip, uh, a better way to go about getting this is just type whatever you want using the uh, type tool and then just hold down control and hit on the, uh, look at the cursor, hit on the icon for the layer in the layers palette. So not this area, and not this area, but where the icon is right here. And then you'll get an outline in this shape uh, if you want a selection of the layer of type right there. Uh, so that's the text tool. For the full four-hour Photoshop crash course, click on the link below. And to get more of the tools, just click on this link inside the video itself. Thanks for joining.